Welcome to the Local Marketing Source Weekly Update, brought to you by LocalMarketingSource.com. This week's Local Marketing Update is brought to you by Scott Gallagher. Scott is the co-founder of Local Marketing Source and has become the recognized expert in providing online marketing services to local businesses. Follow Scott on Twitter at ScottGallagher5 and on Facebook.com slash Scott P. Gallagher. Hey, well, good afternoon, everyone. Scott Gallagher here with Local Marketing Source, bringing our weekly local marketing industry update. Now, this week, we're going to have some conversation. We're going to get into a new algorithmic update that's affecting 5% of all search queries that are out there. Now, this is going to be important for WordPress users, so hang in there and listen in if you're utilizing WordPress as your platform. Uh, Google has got some updates for their maps for the iPhone and the iWatch, and this is how this is going to impact all of your clients. You'll want to listen to that. Now, wrap with LMS. <laughs> this is the Local Marketing Source Review Acquisition Program. I'm going to tell a little bit about how this one program can double your agency client retention, in turn doubling your profit. And finally, some Facebook advertising for your agency, why most SEO experts are failing at effectively using Facebook for targeting new business. Also want to talk a little bit about and share with you what's going on inside the member Facebook group and inside our page program, that's our premium agency growth group. I want to share with you a little bit about Charles and he's the dental marketing expert in Australia. Essentially, I want to talk about the last 30 days and what really has been completed. All right, so let's get going. Google algorithm changes. Now, these happen all the time, and typically they're going to affect anywhere from you know, a percentage point of, of queries that are out there. When we see an algorithm change that affects 5% of all queries, it's something you've got to take notice of. And coming directly from Google, Google says that they're rolling out the changes that are aggressively targeting hacked spam. They are targeting hacked spam. If you've ever used a WordPress site before and you've gotten any amount of traffic, chances are that you've been hacked of some sort and the hacker is utilizing your website to provide spam. Well, that means if you're running WordPress, and it's happened to me many of times. I've, I've been hacked, and I didn't even know it. Uh, there's all different types. Sometimes you know it immediately. Sometimes Google tells you immediately. Sometimes it's just you can't do anything about it. But the fact of the matter is, is uh, first off, for anybody that's on the line live right now, I see that my Internet is going in and out. Um, I, I am a, I'm recording this uh, immediately. It's going to be available to you immediately in the LMS member group. Um, otherwise, you can wait for the recording to be distributed uh, the following Monday. But in any event, let me get back to where I was. I was talking about hacked spam and, and impacting it. And with WordPress users, uh, if, if you don't have any type of security in place, you know, I, I believe what we use is WP Security Fence, uh, something along those lines of um, plugins. And, and as well, you'll, you'll make sure you have a backup, that you've got a plugin of some sort that's backing up your database, or some way you've got you know backup, and that database is being backed up off-site. And, uh, in any event, you are going to be affected. A lot of WordPress sites are affected, and they don't even realize it. Uh, so ensure that you're checking your webmaster tools to make sure that Google doesn't have anything flagged on your site if you're using WordPress, especially with this algorithmic change. It's time to go into your webmaster tools. Now, Google updates. Uh, they've, they've made some updates to their maps, and they've made updates for the iPhone, but more importantly, they've made uh, the watch compatibility update. Well, you know, they're taking the same information that they used to display on a desktop and shrunk it down to a tablet and a phone and, and now putting it into a watch. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's obvious. And, and, you know, the next step that we're going to see in the next couple of years is the same information and display being, you know, projected into your car. And although the displays in the car are going to be roughly the same size of some tablets, you know, eight, nine inches, 
the the way that the information is displayed is going to be vastly different than you know what you'll find on your on your phone because we'll have other sensors in the vehicle to be able to share information and, and whatnot. Now, why I'm sharing this with you is that it, it comes down to the information that we supply as small business or our agencies, we supply it to the search engines and, and the Internet as a whole, gets translated and regurgitated in different ways to be displayed into or onto different types of display devices. So it's up to us as a marketer to effectively supply that information. Yet this is another importance of having the you know your profile information filled out with the best practices that we talk about. Because Google is now building into, you know, their algorithm to display okay, business information, it's not all going to fit onto a watch. They've got to truncate it somehow. You know, their methodologies for truncation, there's a lot of weight in the information that's up front in the description. So we got to focus in when we're creating a description for a small business, as an example, we got to cover within the first, you know, 140 characters, we, we've got to cover a few bullet points for that business and, you know, what they do, why they're better for, but better for, better, a core benefit, and location. And that's, you know, you've got to squeeze all of that into the, the front end of a description. And that will likely help you with search and, of course, displaying the information onto the different display devices. So there wasn't a heck of a lot in updates this week, uh, regard, uh, just in regards to the algorithmic update affecting WordPress users and uh, the new update to iWatch and, and the way it's being displayed and whatnot. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about our RAP program. And RAP really stands for Review Acquisition Program. And I said to you how this one program can double your agency client retention. Well, the Review Acquisition Program does a lot of different things. It's a it's It's a system that's ever-evolving at local marketing source and our students are, are rolling it out to their to their clients and essentially it's it allows a small business to identify the hero customers not just the average customer the hero customers and it builds a relationship with those hero customers and engages with those hero customers and it leverages those hero customers to be cheerleaders for that business through digital mediums. You get positive reviews, you get engagement, you get shares, you get you build social polarity in a social community with these with these heroes by dropping this system in. And this is a system that it's got a, a, a back end autoresponder, um, it's got some front end metrics that need to be watched. Of course there's some uh, front end entries as well. There's an education piece to educate your customers on this, and then there's metrics that we can supply your customers so they can measure and monitor the effectiveness of the programs uh, and, and the interaction with with their customers. Now, this does a lot. You know, reviews do different things. They influence rankings. Uh, when we see when the search engines see engagement, social engagement, it influences rankings. Reviews vastly influence conversion. So if we're trying to find the happiest customers for our clients and we're getting those happy customers to leave reviews online, we're adhering to the rules of conversion because reviews are a major factor in conversion. It is said that 86% of local users read reviews before making a decision, and there's other percentages if the reviews are positive. So it vastly influences conversion as well. But it also affects your service area. And this is a way, with, with the RAP program, it allows you to find ways to manipulate, I don't, I don't like the word manipulate, to grow your service areas in areas that you want to grow your business or areas that you want your clients want to grow their, their particular areas. So it, the the, the you know, RAP does a lot of different things, but it, it also, what I said is it can double your agency client retention. Well, 
let me tell you a story that it was about 2009 and we had reached about 40,000 30 to 40,000 dollars a month in recurring revenue and uh we were losing as many clients as we were gaining every month and we got to a point that our business was no longer growing and we were we we stayed aggressive in sales but our our, our retention wasn't that great and we re- realized our retention had nothing to do with our, our contracts. We had a, not a, that we had a written contract, but we required six months of uh, minimum commitment. And we noticed after six months our clients were, were leaving us, and they were getting great results. They were getting activity. They were getting business. And what the heck? Why? Uh, you know, the, the reports were really good, and, and it came down to a few different things. So we made some major changes inside the company. We immediately... Uh, you know, changed our reporting, um, changed our activities, and more so begun to implement this review system and and start to look at online reputation as a part of a service for our clients. So every month now our clients would get review reports and they know that they're integrated into our Infusionsoft system. This is something that you can only use Infusionsoft, well, that I know of, utilizing Infusionsoft for because it's so sophisticated of what it does. If you, by the way, if you go ahead and you make a purchase of Infusionsoft, before you buy it, go through my affiliate link and I'll give you the wrap system to drop into Infusion. I'll even pay somebody to put it in and get it rolled out for you, completely for your business, Okay couple of hours we've done it a few times we know how to do it that's the easiest way I said go through our affiliate link of course uh, we're gonna get paid a commission for it but that's what business relationships are about so I'll give you that bonus um, but the just getting back to the to the wrap system it it, it will increase the value that you offer to your customers every single month not only is it going to increase the value, I, I mean what you what you give them of how it's going to make their business better for them. They're going to have better information to make better business decisions. The wrap system also is integrated into your Infusionsoft. And so if your client fires you, they lose this wrap system. They're going to see over six months the value of this program. We've seen it over and over. It's a little secret of ours, and I'm letting you know in and on this. It's, it's, it's a great, great little program. So anyhow, you know the details. Now, moving on to Facebook advertising for your agency. And I said, you know, why most SEO experts are failing at of effectively using Facebook to target their agency. I don't know, there could be 9, there could be 10, 11, 12 different ways to utilize Facebook to target different audiences. You can target somebody based off of different demographics. Uh, Demographics can mean a lot of different things, whether it be geography or age or education or, or whatnot. You can target individuals based off of interest. You know, the pages that they've liked, Facebook will let you target specific interests. So if I'm, uh, you know, if, if well, I'm going to talk about Charles. And Charles is a dental marketing expert in Australia. So he targets dentists in Australia. So if he were to spend money in advertising on Facebook, he can char- uh, target those dentists that have an interest, or those individuals that have an interest in dental care. It's it's probably assumed that a dentist would have an interest in dental care and a demographic of Australia. It sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? But what I just described to you is probably one of the worst ways to target Facebook. Of course, there's a lot of broad ways to use Facebook as well that are much worse than what I just described. But targeting based off of interest is not your most lucrative aspect. Now, if you're not doing any retargeting, 
get on that bandwagon right now. Start creating start creating audiences inside of Facebook based off of the people that land on your website. So you can create an audience. Uh, another effective method of creating a custom audience is called a lookalike audience. And you create a lookalike audience based off of your email list. Now that's not the, that's going to get you, that audience there is going to get you a big audience. And it's going to get you new leads. Retargeting is not going to get you new leads, but mark my words when they say 98% of people that go to a website and leave and never do anything, you're now going to be effectively, everybody that lands on your website, you're going to be showing your ad in, on Facebook. It's cheap. It's inexpensive. When you do that, you can target different, you can create different custom audiences based off of landing pages. And so in the page program, I'm just going to jump right into this. Uh, you know, in the, in the page program, one of the things that we're 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 creating with with our students is the value that we can offer somebody that comes to our website and doesn't pick up the phone and call us. The greatest objective of the website, obviously, is to have them to pick up the phone and call us. Now, if they don't do that, they say, "Well, get their information somehow." Well, ideally. The next best thing is, is hey, we want them to give us permission to call them. Well, that's a telephone call. That's our ultimate goal. That's what we want. That's what we want to get to. But if we can't get them to pick up the phone and call us or give us their information and permission to call them, we've got to have fallback. And that's where that 98% comes into place. So we can offer different value to audience members that may not be ready to talk to us. We can offer them a download. We can offer them a video. We can offer them an analysis. So I've just now established four different sales channels for you. We like to position it like some will call it a report or a top ten strategies for local SEO download PDF report or the seven things to the seven things dentists should avoid. You know, download this report, um, whatever it may be. But the fact of the matter is is it's, hey, you give me a piece of information, your email and your name, and I can, I now have permission to market to you unless you opt out, and I'll give you this awesome digital file. The next sales channel is a visual, a video of some sort. It could be a webinar. It could be a video. It could be a replay webinar. It could be a variety of different things. But it's something that people can see and listen to rather than print out. Okay? A third channel is your authority book. That I, I think that if we're spending time, money, and energy to drive dentists to our website, that even when we're doing direct mail, I do direct mail with my book, by the way, and I send it to them. That, you know, a third channel that once they come to my site, if they don't have my book, they can give me their information and I will mail them a book for free. So I've created an, a third channel. And then a fourth channel is your analysis. That's where, A, I'm going to take a look at your business specifically. I'm going to give you details. I'm going to give you a plan of action. Yes, I'm going to give you a proposal but you get to give me your name, your website, and your phone number. With back back to the advertising, you can create these 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 different channels and these different ads to drive each of these four different uh opt-in points to your site. Now, that's really talking about Charles and what we're doing in the in the premium program. That essentially is what he's built in the last 30 days just as an example, has implemented Infusionsoft, has created his own keynote presentation, recorded video, uh, he's in the process of recording as we speak, uh, implemented automated, implementing automated webinars, uh, mapped out and installed an email autoresponder for each of those four channels we just described, four unique sales channels, created that PDF download, created the webinar, created the analysis. In the process, the book is going to be finished next week, to have, but he's got the book delivery process in place. 
and created different graphics for you know he never had his site he built his website all within his 30 days also created his logo his own book cover got a professional image of himself of holding his published book he's ready he already looks like an expert for dentists in the search marketing world online I never had that 30 days ago so I just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully that will give you a little bit of incentive to, you know, what can you get done in, in 30 days. In any event, uh, this is going to come to the conclusion of today's webinar. All right, thanks, everyone, and have a great day, and bye for now. Well, thanks for watching the Local Marketing Industry Update. We've got these things coming out every single week. So if you liked with what you heard, just click the button right above me right here to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to get a little bit more, right over here, go check out localmarketingsource.com. We've got free reports that you can grab. You can even register for our free marketing course to get in and see the portal. Or just go ahead and follow us on some of the social channels. We'll be around. Until next time.